Urban development improves the lives of many, but if not carefully planned, it might happen at a great health and environmental cost. The Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa, is growing so fast that the Ripi landfill, which in 1968 was in the outskirts of the city, is now at its center. What we're aiming to do is to make South Africa a centre for the world's best science and technology. So we'll have a succession of really exciting discoveries made by international teams in a telescope based in Africa, which is the world's biggest telescope, the world's most exciting telescope. Bangkok is home to over 9 million people. This hot concrete jungle is one of the most polluted cities in Asia, but the rooftop of one of its skyscrapers hosts an innovative urban farm. Set up by local company Nergaya, it produces spirulina, an edible algae that is a sustainable source of protein, even an alternative to meat. Spirulina is a single cell microorganism and um, as a microalgae, it has a very high concentration of specific nutrients, which kind of get it the classification of a superfood. About 20 million people in Bangladesh drink water that contains too much salt. The water is contaminated by salt water intrusions from rising sea levels that result in more frequent flooding and stronger cyclones. Salinity is affecting the health of the population, especially pregnant women and their babies. Some 1,300 kilometers of road lie between Niame, the capital city of Niger, and the town of Arlid, a river the French nuclear group has been involved in mining operations here for the last 45 years.